Um, yeah, I'm here today to present you the work of a Portuguese startup which is focusing in safe clinical communication and in aggregating um, other digital tools and professional content for day-to-day -day use. <laughs> and I thought that better than just present you the solution, it would be really interesting to show you how we got there. You, you'll never get uh, nowhere really if you don't have a strong team. And that's where the Tonic App project started. I meet my colleague of founders. We met at IE Business School during our MBA in Madrid. Then you have an idea. An idea which is based in this case of uh, professional needs of medical doctors. But you need to test every assumption that you do around this idea before you start developing any software. And this is a hard, long process. You start to do, to do some brainstorming with your colleagues, you do market research, but then you really have to go out of your office and do some surveys, focus groups, talk to everyone you know really with the form of contacts, and do some experiments as I will explain to you. So we've made, we've made many surveys. This is some of the surveys we've made. We've asked doctors which uh, functionalities they'd like to have in a professional app. And the most requested functionalities were all around discussing cases uh, and, um, and uh, chatting professionally. We also wanted to know which kind of professional content they, they prefer. Um, no doubt they really want educational content, but they also want content associated again with uh, clinical cases. We did also some focus groups, and focus groups are conversations with four to five medical doctors, just uh, managed by, a, by an external person, where we see them uh, brainstorm and discuss this type of ideas. The idea, uh, initially, we were about to make a mobile platform just for radiologists, I'm a neuroradiologist myself, but then we found out that it wouldn't be viable. So we have uh, enlarged the scope of the, of the mobile app to all medical doctors, really. This is just a very small example of all the contacts we've made. We've, we've talked before we do anything with all types of stakeholders in healthcare. Then after you gather all this data, you, you start to do some experiments. And these experiments are really like scientific experiments. You need to uh, validate your hypothesis. For example, here we wanted to validate the hypothesis that medical doctors will professionally use a mobile discussion app. We set an objective, and we, 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 we set uh, an objective of more than 10 interactions per week per user, and we've got a mean of 45 interactions per week per user, exchanging lots of words, photos, and primary users were discussion, discussion of patient cases and asking for second opinions. And they really separate very well what is social from what is professional. Then. And still before you write any code, you design yourself what you think the solution should be. And I'd like to stress that this, this step is really important because we have many solutions in medicine which are developed by engineers who really don't have a clue what, what are the needs and the usability needs of medical doctors. So you really need to do a good sketch, a sketch yourself. There are many easy softwares to do this. And then you start talking with your engineering team. But this is not all. The process involves lots of legal, legals, data protection, accounting, finances, investment, and recruiting. I never learned so much and so fast in my life. So we've developed a mobile platform to tackle and safe and effective communication, fragmenting professional content and tools in healthcare, who have an impact on the quality and efficiency of care and overall costs. Doctors want to better coordinate care, to discuss clinical cases, to educate themselves, to be informed, and this in contexts of less time, emergencies, work overload, work in isolation in their own offices or in multiple and complex centers. You know this. Medical doctors want as well to be mobile. So this is Tonic App. And let me introduce you some screens. This is the, the dedicated um, the dedicated interface for clinical discussion. We have an urgent mode for the medical doctor who is on call. They can share images and videos, and it has a plus, which is all the discussions are really very well organized inside the app by group and by discussion. 
We also uh, give access to curated and relevant professional medical resources and information. And this can be developed by us, produced or curated um, by our own team. So we have many types of content and we keep experimenting with content to adjust the content to our, our doctor users. In the near future, we're going to segment it by speciality. So for example, ophthalmo ophthalmologists will only see content and digital tools that are really just relevant for them and not, for example, for orthopedic surgeons. Our app is also an opportunity for professional networking. So we can discuss if you have some questions in the end about the safety of our solution. We ask for a license confirmation. We rely also on professional secrecy because only Dr. Lai yeah. You have to verify your device with your phone number. So we make sure that that device is from the person who is the owner. We have a PIN code in case of your mobile is stolen, safe channels, and to an encryption. All the content is deleted as soon as it reaches the receptors, and we only stay with metadata, I can explain that. We have redundant servers in European space, and we're pursuing ISO 27001 for safety of our communications. And I'm happy to say today that we've almost reached 1,000 users in March, only in Portugal. Um, we only launched our uh, iOS uh, app in uh, beta version one week ago. Um, and I also know today that we are number one um, in the App Store for Portugal um, for medical apps. We have also an Android version. And so that you know, we're for example doing a pilot, hospital pilot, because we're to show we can have an impact in the quality of care. And we're doing that in acute stroke care coordination, where one of the endpoints is uh, that we can reduce time from symptom onset to advisory treatment. We are interested at the moment in any help we can get to help us with the divulgation of Tonic App, especially in Portugal, Portugal and soon will be in other markets. And we're also interested in uh, professional content that you think it is useful for day-to-day -day use. Um, and I'll finish the way I started with people. This is the team at the office. Thank you.